Hey everybody and welcome back. Thank you very much for joining me today. In this video, we're going to look at how to create a noir portrait style lighting setup. Thank you to everybody who subscribed and hit the notification icon. That really helps me out. Let's me know who's interested in seeing my content. And also a massive thank you to all of my patrons and my members. If you are interested in supporting the channel, feel free to visit the Patreon link in the description below or just simply hit the join button next to the subscribe button on this channel. So as you can see, I've got my scene set up with a character posing in front of a camera like so. And in the camera's properties, I have adjusted the dimensions. We're using local dimensions and I've set it to 16 by nine in a vertical portrait style setup. This is just for the sake of the effect of the portrait. You can have the dimensions however you want. This is just how I've chosen to set it up. So we're going to go back into our perspective view and we're going to get started. So the first thing we want to do is create a plane and we're going to create a plane that's going to be about 0.6 of a meter across and we're going to rotate it along the X axis by minus 90 degrees. And then we're simply going to drag it up and back. And then we're going to go into our camera view quickly and we're just going to manipulate that shape so that the center of it is pretty much directly behind her kind of uh, lip area like that, like so. And then we're going to jump back into the perspective view and we're just going to drag it back ever so slightly there like that so that it's not too close to her. Now we're going to go into our camera view mode. We're going to go to surfaces tab for that plane and we're going to change the emission properties and we're going to set emissive to white and then we're going to change the luminance units to KCDMR2 and we're going to change the luminance to I'm thinking about 500 like so. Now in your render settings tab, which is here, you're going to change your environment to scene only. This is just so that the HDRI isn't going to interfere with our lighting setup. And what we're going to do is go into our NVIDIA IRA mode. And all we're checking here is that it creates us a nice little highlight around the scene or around the character's edges without blowing out the highlights too much. So there shouldn't be any really, really white bits though you can't see any detail. I mean, on the shoulders, it's not too bad, but certainly around the face, you don't want any of that because obviously that's going to make the model's face look like it's a weird shape. And we're going to come back into texture shaded mode, go into perspective view, remembering that we don't want our camera to move. And we're going to create two more objects. First one is going to be a, another plane and this one's going to be probably about the same size but this one we want two divisions and we're going to hit accept and we're going to move this one up so that it's above the model's head and then we're going to rotate it along the x-axis in the positive direction so that it's creating there like that so that it's almost directly pointing towards the camera the character. Now we're going to go into our camera and we're just going to change the Y translate of that so that it's not in view of the shot but only just slightly so. It's it's close but it's not in the shot. Jumping back into our perspective view and now we're going to change by clicking on this ball here. We're going to click and change to Y texture shaded like so so that we can see the divisions on that object. Now we're going to go into our Geometry Editor tool, which is this checkerboard with a pencil hovering over it. And we're going to check that we've got our plane selected. Then we're going to right click and we're going to check that our selection type is Polygon and our selection mode should be Drag. And all we're going to do is select the bottom left hand Polygon. We're going to right click and we're going to delete selected polygons and we're going to say yes. And that leaves us with this kind of shape. Now the positioning of the last object is the is the fiddly bit. This is the bit that makes all of the difference in the portrait. 
and we have to make sure we get it right. So what we're going to do is we're going to stay in our free camera mode for now and we're just going to rotate so that we're pointing at the character and then we're going to move like this. Now, what we're going to want to do is we're going to want to rotate this shape so that it's a little bit more parallel with her head. So we shall check with our Y rotation and we want it to be more of a kind of angle in line with her head and we can move it around along the X and Z axis without interfering with our camera. And we want to do that so that when we get our camera into position, we're kind of covering her forehead and half of her eye like so. And that should be about it. So this is more or less what you should be seeing. The next thing you want to do is click on this object up here next to the create primitives icon. There's a create null icon. We're going to click on that and then we're going to apply active viewport transform like that. And we're going to hit accept. And what that's done is it's created a null where the camera was so that we've sort of marked the position where we were. Now what we're going to do is we're going to create that second primitive like that. And this one's going to be about point, I want to say 0.1 meters, so 10 centimeters across. And we only want one division. So we're going to hit accept there. So now we've got to select this tiny little object like that. And what we want to do is select our null, press Control and C, and then on our plane, Control and V. And now, as you can see, our plane has moved to the position of the null. The problem is it's 90 degrees out. So we need to change its X rotation so that it's there like that, so that it's facing towards our subject like so. Now we're going to come back to our camera again. And as you can see, our plane has now moved into our shot again. So we're going to have to come back to our perspective view and we're going to have to make some adjustments. And what we want to do is we want to move this up like that so that it's not in the shot. And now this is this does mean that we're going to have to adjust the position of our plane again, but it's not a big deal. So we select our plane in the surfaces tab. We're going to turn emission to on by changing the color to white. We're going to change our units to KCDMR2 and we're going to set our properties to about 900,000. Because it's such a tiny object, we're going to need to um, have that incredibly bright. Now we're going to jump into our NVIDIA IRA preview mode. There we go, like that. And now we can adjust the position of our plane in the parameters tab. The first thing we want to do is change the Y position and do that very gradually until you can see the shadow starting to creep into the shot. So we're almost in the right place. We want it to kind of just about be above the eyelashes. And now we want to move it in the positive direction along the X axis until we can see the other shadow creeping across the eye like that. And then we'll have to tweak it a little bit more. So we'll move it back down in the Y direction and across. There you go. So you can see the shadow is now creeping into the shot. So we can tweak the position ever so slightly until we get the effect that we're after like so, and I'm going to move that again across a little bit more so that we can see some of that eye, which means moving up in the Y axis again, like that. And then we can simply render that out and there's our portrait set up. So if we come back into our texture shaded mode and we look at our perspective view, you can see all of the objects here. We've got our light background, our shadow creator and then oh, all the way up here is our little light source and as you can see we didn't have to move too far from where our camera position was it's pretty much still more or less where it was and that's all there is to it i hope you found that useful let me know what you think in the comments below and i'll see you in the next one Bye bye